The hot Afghan sun beats down the British troops based in Fob Minden, which is several kilometres south of the Musakala district centre. Although it isn't even midday yet, temperatures are already in the mid 40s. These soldiers, however, continue to work through, undaunted by the heat. They are preparing for battle. A short distance away is the village of Yatimshe, which is held by the Taliban. This area is the front line between international and Afghan security forces and the insurgents. The troops here are preparing to launch an operation that will force the Taliban out of the village, allowing the local people, who have so far been living in exile, to return to their homes. We're, we're mounting the operation because the local population has been forced out by the insurgents and then the insurgents are using it as base to disrupt ANSF and ISAF operations in this in the area south of Muscala. The name of this operation is Ma Lu, which means snake wolf in Pashto, the primary language spoken in Helmand province. The soldiers here, drawn primarily from the Royal Fusiliers and the Royal Welsh, are packing their supplies and ammunition and conducting last minute checks on their weapon systems. In the centre of the camp, a model of Yatimshe has been built so that the commanders here can brief their men on every last detail. All right, these represent either tracks or um, drainage ditches. There are several objectives that have to be taken. Each is named after a type of metal, with gold and silver being the key areas. The plan is a complex one. A diversion will initially be launched to the north end of the village, making the Taliban think an attack is incoming from that area. Afghan security forces and the majority of British troops will then sweep round and engage the insurgents from the south. The Afghan forces have a key role in this operation, which highlights their ever-increasing capabilities to conduct operations with the international soldiers here. The NSF are absolutely critical. They're going to um, undertake the initial break into the village from the south and then uh, clear the centre of the village uh, around the Chinar Mosque, which is the, uh, the Taliban headquarters. The operation, which is due to launch in the early hours of the following day, is going to be a hard one. There are reports of a fairly substantial Taliban force in Yatimshe, and their conditions are going to make it tough for the soldiers going in. Uh, for us, they're going to be extremely hot. Um, it's going to be uh, very dusty, and uh, as we fight through the, uh, through the village, it's going to be um, extremely arduous and hard work. As the briefing concludes, Major Sid Wellam, the commander of C Company, speaks final words of encouragement to his men. So look around, play as a team tomorrow, right? we will rely on each other. Leadership from your level. As the men make final checks on their warrior armoured vehicles, I speak to some of the soldiers who will be involved in the operation. Fusilier Hayden Henricks is currently the youngest British soldier serving in Afghanistan. He deployed two days after his 18th birthday. My birthday was on the 5th of May, and my battalion was already deployed. So on the 7th of May, I applied with them. How do you feel about this upcoming operation? Uh, nervous a bit, um, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with the duels and my, my skills and the team. This is the last operation for Lance Corporal Craig Silcox before he returns home. Yeah, this is basically my last one. I'll, do, I'll be end the touring then, as soon as this is over. Right, and what do you think is going to happen in this? Uh, you forward to it? Or? Yeah, I am. Actually, all the boys are up for it because uh, basically they've been having little niggles at us from the time we got out here in February. So now uh, it's time to give a bit back. So all the preparation's done now. Uh, everybody's briefed, everybody's packed, and we're now going to go to sleep and wake up at 2 a.m. and head out for the long, hot day. So anyway, this is uh, the end of day one. Uh, good night, and I'll see you at 2 a.m. The soldiers settle down to get what short rest they can. Some make phone calls to their loved ones, others talk about what the next day could hold. Would the Taliban stand and fight or would they run away? Operation Marlu was about to begin. <laughs>